Hello traders and welcome back to another Print New York analysis and trade review of London today, the 1st of November 2023. So it's been a pretty uh, eventful day since yesterday. Uh, just obviously today we've got FOMC uh, rate decision, which is going to be the overall driver today of, of where gold's going to be going and how that's going to tie into the dollar. So they're expecting a pause, they're expecting that's already going to have been priced in, but obviously they're waiting for that information to come out about the market. And um, yeah, that should potentially see whether we're going to see a stronger or weaker dollar based on those um, numbers that get put out. And then as such, where the markets are going to want to drive um, either equities or uh, gold or you know precious metals uh, with this information going into the end of the year and potentially into the start of next year so but waiting on this decision now to see where this last quarter is going to potentially play out for the bigger players so with that in mind that isn't coming until uh, much later on in the day for us in the UK so not until six o'clock GMT time um, obviously crude, crude oil inventories are uh, negligible they were slightly up last week so we could see that the US were managing to stockpile some crude oil inventories uh, which was a concern for their inflationary um, aspects you know with the, the war in Israel and the risk off environment currently going on there um, so America managed to stockpile more oil last last week which if they can show similar results again this week it showed that also that it's not going to have a massive effect but it will help the Fed to in their decision in terms of where they're seeing the inflation going um so yeah that would be good that would be a good sign as well coming out um if the fed do pause which they're likely to do and crude oil inventories are bolstered as well would be uh, a, a plus uh, overall there um so yeah so not nothing else really looking at there um got some small news on the on the well i say small it's, it's obviously going to have an impact on the market, the non-farm employment change uh, on at one, at 12 15. Uh, so we'll be seeing some volume in 15 minutes' time. Um, but yeah, the, the main thing is really going to be about pricing in that FOMC statement later on today. So as we can see, as we're going into today, um, we had this massive rejection yesterday um, in, in New York. So we had basically the price action moving up. We came up to this uh, this key level around the 1999 level, uh, and then we basically traded up aggressively into um, the the high of the week, created a new high of the week um, uh, yesterday, and then traded lower aggressively, um, basically all, all until the close uh, yesterday. We saw that carry into the asia session and then yeah we've we've basically traded higher uh slightly since then and yeah a bit, a bit annoying sort of price action there down for me this morning but so uh, we'll get into that in a minute so for new york i would be very tempted not to trade anything unless we we traded really aggressively up um you know into one of these these levels and, and we get a an entry model so either be trading up into this 19 near this 1988 level or we trade back down into this 1981 level and look to get long um below this you know we've got a fair way to go down here but i wouldn't be surprised if fomc could pump uh, you know we get some range in price actually get a bit of a spike on this 12 15 news and then we just kind of like range wait for that fomc news and we get a real push down to maybe this 1968 level or a push higher up into like this, these 2000s again. Um, but yeah, we've just got to wait and see. Ideally, we'd be wanting to look for price action to come and trade into one of these levels and then for an entry model um, because you're going to stand a better chance of seeing a reversal from these areas because they're um, going to be seen as profit-taking areas for people that are, are already in trades. So that's kind of what I'd be looking for for New York. Um and then yeah just this morning we there was a took an entry this morning a long long entry um got stayed well i was in the trade for about 
30 minutes or something like that wasn't really moving anywhere uh, unfortunately got taken out um, on the trade by a couple of pips and then uh, yeah it's, it's moved up since then um, still still nowhere near where TP would have been um, but yeah it's um, it was a bit of a bit of an annoying trade um, moved from the from the level moved about 42 pips ideally what I wanted I saw a signal um, I wanted price action to trade back down into the key level to give me an entry um, but it didn't come down into the key level in the time frame that I wanted it to so I used a, a stop order entry and yeah the step stop order entry triggered me in first before the key level got hit and yeah just just in how the price action played out uh yeah I just got stopped out on the trade it's just one of those trades where you know we follow the plan for all the process we adapt to what the market presents to us and how we want to potentially enter a trade sometimes um based on our rules and our process and logical thinking around that and been having clearly defined rules around your process um even if you have a, a simple entry model uh, you will find that there are quite a lot of questions that uh, you need to answer and um, dictate to yourself how you're going to react and, and monitor things in those moments and today i was able to make a logical decision because of uh, how my entry signal presented i was well, i could see from uh, how big my stop loss needed to be where i ideally wanted to cover and that was my thought process i was like right okay well if price action trades back into the key level um, after the signal, then I'll take it at the key level. If uh, price action doesn't reach the key level, but comes back, let's say it basically travels back down and then comes back to my entry signal um, confirmation, I will take a stop order entry in effect uh, by manual execute when price comes back to that area. And that's what happened in this scenario. Like usually, um, if I can cover where I want to with my stop loss um, at the signal close I'm more than happy just to enter straight away at market at that point but because of how big the signal was today I wanted to um, and, and how it presented and I could see how it had closed above the key level I was like right okay well we could see uh, a sharp pullback to the key level so rather than anticipating that the momentum's just going to carry on I chose to logically make the the decision to be right okay well i'm still going to be able to enter but i'm looking for these two extra confluences to try and get into this trade ideally one at a better price and a better where i'd like to see it and then two if it doesn't come there and the momentum wants to carry on i can get myself in there now price action did come back to the key level and obviously and went from that key level but i can't after the fact berate myself because the with the information that I had at the time of the signal, um, I made the logical decision and call based on my process and my edge and how I enter trades 100% of the times um, was based on that information at that time. And the price action gave me the entry model that price action gave me in that moment. And I can't, after the fact, be like, oh, I, I should have waited for the key level and taken it at the key level because it would have been a win because that isn't logical and um, it's only going to set you up in a perpetual wanting to change things all the time because when you haven't got things clearly defined you can't make these logical decisions when the market throws a curveball at you and you know try and adapt to the market to try and give yourself and the trade the best opportunity possible to where what is what I did in that circumstance and, and situation today because whilst it played off the the level today and um you know i could have um chosen to take it in that way gone against my rules gone against my process my usual entry methods um and it could have conversely just gone with the stop order and not come back to the key level and gone with the momentum so sticking to your plan and knowing your process and just being very nimble and adaptable in those key moments um where you can logically know what um, that you execute properly can keep you from going on tilt and know when when and where you can improve your your edge and yourself um, you know and know when you're going off your edge and your process and when it's your brain trying to protect you from um, taking a loss 
uh, on that trade, which is what um, my brain was telling me when I saw price action take me out and then go from the key level. My brain was telling me that, oh yeah, I told you, you know, we should have taken the trade from the key level and gone from the key level. But because I've got a clearly defined process and, and know um, that the logical decisions that I made in the moment of the signal and the price action there was that I followed my process 100% and actually taken from the key level at that point would have been completely out of context for my edge and in fact it would have been worse than taking the loss because I would have been self-sabotaging myself going forward in trades um, that come after this and signals that come after this because I'd be then questioning my logic and thought process in the moment to come to the best decision for that trade signal at that time and this is where uh, journaling and knowing your process and rules and knowing the questions that come can arise from the market and your entry model is going to be so key and for, for you to be able to improve as a trader so a bit of a ramble there at the end but if you did stay to them that's quite a bit of an insightful information if you've got any questions on that you know drop them down in the comments below and i can maybe do some you know separate videos on that if you want to but yeah um try and wrap it up there now uh, it's been a quite a lot, bit of a longer one than normal a bit of a rant uh, about about what happened today in terms of the that entry that I took today um so yeah so uh i hope you have a good session if you are trading in new york um just be mindful of uh you know the volume that we're going to get later on with the fomc and yeah just trade safe and i will catch you all in the next one